Good morning. This is Mark Harrison with Sewer Line Check Professionals. Uh, I'm here at 13610 Bayless Road in Los Angeles, and I'm in the process of performing a video examination of the main sewer line here on the property. Now, the main sewer line is the portion of the waste drainage piping that is exterior to the structure. It lies underground and connects the building drain line system to the public sewer. The building drain line system then is the portion or portions of the waste drainage piping that would be underneath or interior to the structure. Our examination today is not focused on the building drain line system, so if further evaluation is desired regarding the building drain line system, a licensed plumbing contractor should be contacted, or a specialty building drain line video examination can be set up through our office. So I wasn't able to locate an exposed or accessible main sewer line cleanout. A main sewer line cleanout is an area outside the structure that has a removable cap allowing access into the drain system as it exits the building. What I found was a three inch clean out here on the uh, interior garage wall. So we uh, opened that up and we've pushed about 82 feet out to our public sewer here. Uh, the line actually exits the structure uh, just to the right of the front porch in the little planter area. We'll be marking that out. Bit of a tough push due to a lot of bends and turns from where we had to access, so I decided to uh, start the video here at Public Sewer and we will examine this line backwards. So as we pull off of the Public Sewer, we're pulling back through the uh, six inch vitrified clay pipe, which is the portion of the system that is referred to as the lateral pipe. It comes from the Public Sewer up to the property. This is under the street, but it is the property owner's responsibility for care and maintenance. Now these clay pipe materials, they are very common. This is really one of the more common type of pipes we find in main sewer line systems. The clay pipe does have a long service life expectancy. Being a natural material, it's less likely to deteriorate underground. But it is fairly brittle in nature and does have a higher potential for damage during seismic activity or earthquakes. So we're specifically looking for any areas that may have uh, significant cracks or breaks, significant offsets or separations of the uh, connections or joints, anything that would be considered a compromise to the integrity of the pipe. Now I've got water running in the uh, downstairs master bathroom, which is at our front right corner of our building. You see here we've got it coming down through that other pipe. So we have a, a wide connection here where two pipes intersect. So we'll need to uh, reset and look at another line here if we can get in somehow. So the clay portion so far that we've seen is uh, generally in satisfactory condition. So the uh, larger pipe under the street back up to the property is uh, doing fine. Uh, we're pulling back now into a different piping. You see we're changing colors from the uh, orangish colored clay to a, a black colored piping. This is a pipe material known as Orangeburg. This was a, a popular piping material in the uh, 60s and 70s. It's a material that's essentially a, uh, a layered fibrous pipe or like layered paper that's uh, then uh, impregnated with like a tar-like resin. And uh, you're going to see here as we pull back, this pipe is pretty badly misshapen. This particular Orangeburg pipe really has been determined to be a, uh, an inferior pipe material. It's uh, very easily damaged by your snakes or cleaning machines. See these big lumps, little canyons essentially would catch debris. As we continue to pull back here, we'll see some more of that. So it's definitely a, a pipe that we're going to recommend should be replaced. It's kind of our policy whenever we come across this orange bird material, it's just it's considered inferior piping. And uh, our policy is to suggest that one should go ahead and replace it with a modern piping. It's really not expected to have a much longevity. You know, once it starts to fail, there's not really anything you can do with it as far as maintenance because it just starts to you know, tear through the walls of the pipe and stuff like that. 
The good news at this point is the line is generally draining. There's no root intrusion in the clay beyond this section of Orangeburg. That kind of lessens the urgency in doing so. But uh, really one feasible one should consider replacing this Orangeburg pipe. You see those big lumps here along the bottom that we're talking about when these they just didn't hold up to their round shape. Once they start to go, they're basically done. Here's another big lump along the bottom of the pipe. This is actually the piping material itself that's misshapen. That's not debris sitting in the pipe. Here's another example of how it gets these big lumps in it misshapen. back inside a, a short section of original clay pipe. So I don't know if this Orangeburg is original or if it was a, a section that was replaced, um, but in either case it's something that we recommend should be considered for upgrades when feasible. So we'll go ahead and mark out either end of that Orangeburg pipe. And then here's where our clay starts as we come out of the building. So I'm going to be marking out a few things. Uh, this is where the, the line begins. Um, and then I'm going to push back out and mark out the end of that orange bird. And then uh, we're going to go see if we can get our camera into that other line somehow. So I'll be stopping the video and we'll pick it up again.